Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you this really awesome kaleidoscope inspired effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So, in order to begin with this process, you first want to make a copy of your video. So, you can do this one of two ways you can either select the video and hold Command C, move across and press Command V, or if you hold Option on your keyboard and you drag that video up to Video Layer 2, that should make a copy. Now right click on the copied video, go up to Label and Manga. Now we'll go up to Opacity, select the Create Ellipse Mask tool, so that is the Circle Mask, and you just want to set this mask around your face. Now we'll increase the Mask Feather all the way up to around 180%, and then we'll pull the Opacity down just a little bit. Now we'll move the position of this over to the right, and now we're going to make a copy of that video that we just pasted into the timeline. So same thing again, select video layer 2, hold option, drag up to video layer 3, and we'll move the position of this down. Now we'll make another copy, move that to the left. Make another copy once more, we'll drag this over to the left again. And you just want to keep repeating this process over and over again until you've got a perfect circle of faces around the original video. Now, once you've done that and you've got all of those copied layers into your timeline, you just want to select all of those orange layers, right click, go up to Nest, and we can rename this to Kaleidoscope Inner. And as you can see, that will turn all of those layers into one layer. Now, we'll drag the original video up onto Video Layer 3, so we'll hold Option, drag that up to Video Layer 3, and that will create a copy. Now, select Video Layer 3 create a circle mask and create a circle mask around the face. Now we'll increase the feather, we'll decrease the mask opacity, and then we'll increase the scale up to around 140%. Now we'll drag this all the way over to the right in the top right corner, and then we're gonna go ahead and create a copy of that video. So hold option, drag that up, and then we'll move the position of this layer down just a little bit. And like we did before, we're just gonna keep repeating this process over and over again until we've got this perfect circle of faces on the entire outside of the video. Now, once you've done that, once more, we're just gonna select all of those copied videos. We're gonna right click and select Nest. Now we can rename this to Kaleidoscope Outer. Now you want to go ahead and select Video Layer 3, so that is the nested video that we just created. And you want to change the blend mode from normal to screen. Now we'll go to video layer 2 and we'll change the blend mode of this layer as well but this time we'll change this one to darken. And as you can see this effect is really starting to come together. But in order to take this effect to the next level we want to go ahead and manipulate the colors. So we're going to go ahead and generate a new adjustment layer. So select the new item button, go up to adjustment layer and we'll drag the adjustment layer onto video layer 4. Now, go into Effects, search for RGB Curves, we'll drop that onto the Adjustment Layer. And inside of the curves, we can go ahead and adjust the blue channel to add some blues into the highlights, midtones, and shadows. Now we'll go back into Effects and search for Blur. Drop Fast Blur onto the Adjustment Layer. We're gonna select Repeat Edge Pixels and we'll increase the blurriness up to around 20%. Now select the Ellipse Mask tool in Opacity, and then we're just going to expand this mask all the way up to the very edge of the video. Now, once you've done that, select the Inverted Box, and we'll increase the Mask Feather to around 250% and reduce the Opacity. And as you can see, this is giving us this really dreamy, blurry effect to the outside of the video. Now from here, we can go ahead and manipulate each individual channel on their own. So we'll select Video Layer 2, go into Effects, and search for Color Balance RGB. In Color Balance RGB, we want to turn the green and the blue channels to 0%, keeping red at 100. Now we'll go to Kaleidoscope Outer, we'll search for Color Balance one more time, drop that on, but this time, we can go ahead and turn green and red to 0, keeping blue at 100. Now one more time, we'll go ahead and select Video Layer 1, we'll drag Color Balance RGB onto Video Layer 1. We'll turn red to 0 and we'll turn blue to 0. 
And as you can see, we've got this really extreme effect happening. So we're just going to make some fine adjustments in the color balance RGB tab on video layer one. We'll change the red channel to around 90 and we'll change the blue channel to around 40. And then we'll go up to video layer three. We'll increase the green channel all the way up to a higher number. And then go through all of these individual channels and change these numbers to affect the color of your video. And once you're happy with the look of this, there you go. You've just created this really awesome kaleidoscope inspired effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.